What does the Bible say is the most important question that we can ask as Christians? It's amazing to me how many Christians I see and I have seen through the years that say that they're committed to the scriptures, but when they're ready to make decisions in their lives, they never ask, what does the Bible say about it? When they face crossroads or they face decisions or they're dealing with a difficult problem, they seek advice from their friends, their neighbors, their own experiences, but they never ask the right question, and that is, what does the Bible say about my problem? What does the Bible say about this issue? What does the Bible say about this idea? What does the Bible say about this thought? What does the Bible say about this experience? What does the Bible say? Because when they ask, what does the Bible say, they're asking, what does God say? The first reason we need to ask, what does the Bible say, is because the Bible is God's written revelation to man. The Bible is God's written revelation to man. God has spoken in the scriptures. Turn to Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. In the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom, whom he made the universe. In the past, God spoke. You know what the most amazing thing about Jehovah is? He speaks. He is a God who speaks. Over and over in the Old Testament, God says, I speak. I have revealed. I have spoken. I have told. And he has contrasted himself with all the other gods who nobody hears. Nobody knows. People talk about they have revelation here and they have revelation there, but we have the revelation of God and God has spoken. And the writer to Hebrews tells us God has spoken in the past. And who has he spoken to? Notice, in the past God spoke to our forefathers, to the Jewish forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. If you want to sum up the whole Old Testament, you can sum it up this way right here. God has spoken to the Jewish forefathers, to our Jewish forefathers, through the prophets. Moses was a prophet. A prophet was a man that spoke from God. And all throughout the Old Testament, there are prophets. And God selected them, and God brought his word to them, and God spoke to them, and then they wrote it down, and they gave it to us. And so he begins by saying, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets. That's the Old Testament. But... In these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. That's the New Testament. And his son appointed the apostles to speak for him. The Old Testament and the New Testament is how God has spoken to us. People talk today about, oh, if only I knew what God wanted for me. If I only knew what God desired. If God would only speak to me. If God would speak to me, I would be set. You know what my problem is? I don't know what God wants. My problem is I don't know what to do because I don't know what God wants. And you know what God says? I spoke. I spoke. You're not listening because it's right here. You've got to read it. It's there. You want to know what my moral will is? Here it is. You know, want to know what my opinion is about this issue? Here it is. That issue? Here it is. Align your life with this, align it, agree with it, and you will be following my will. 